and you know it it is always player for me to talk to you i i'm going to try to unwind and go back a little bit further to your childhood basically from your early memories actually i born in a farmer family and uh, my father is farmer and uh, he's still doing the same business so i i born in a rural area uh, it's it is it is uh, 200 km far from uh, lahore city and uh, in early age i used to go school uh, uh, you know where we we did not have any kind of furniture we did not have any kind of uh, electricity we did not have uh, any other facilities like a washroom or other facilities so i studied there uh, f- uh, for five years of my primary education and then i went to uh, for for high uh, you know for further studies to high school and uh, it was pretty decent and uh, you know our high school has a very tremendous record uh for producing uh, such great doctors engineers and other you know lawyers and judges so uh, i passed my high secondary education and then i i moved to lahore and that is the point where my journey actually starts in lot of cultures like you either can be an engineer or a doctor there's no third uh, space or third yeah, uh, option course. right so what was your passion or was there something that your parents wanted you to become and same as you mentioned already my father wanted me to become a doctor and uh, that's why he he pushed me into the pre medical so but 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 the thing is i skipped that pre medical exams uh, intentionally because i never wanted to become a doctor because i thought uh, you, know, you know it it is uh, there there is something uh, you know always uh, there is something in mind uh, f- for everybody so i had in my mind like at at that time like uh, i loved technology uh, i i remember when i was just uh, 12 years old my mother uh, gave me a gift uh, you know uh, that was a video game box uh, uh, with cassettes and Uh, Sega, Sega. Sega. Uh, was it Sega, Sega Mega Sega Drive? <laughs> yeah, of course. So I love to play. I love to play Super Mario. Uh, Super oh Mario wow! Game. So, so I, I was, uh, I was very lucky. I am very lucky uh, that my my parents uh, uh, gave me everything uh, in my early age. So uh, my journey starts from there when I loved games and I loved. Uh, in 1999, I had a mobile phone. so you know uh, it was a uh, 1999 or 2000 it was what, what mobile phone was that <laughs> nokia 3310 oh, it was okay. very famous famous right. uh, it was a flagship phone at that time actually yeah. so i had that one so later on when the time you know goes i i studied ics uh, in here in pakistan ics intermediate computer uh, education so i did that then i moved to uh, so here the twist comes when i moved to university uh, i started doing like uh, uh, mass communication so because because i thought i am a very good uh, i i i i can be a very good lawyer or you know journalist or something because i had a habit uh, which i don't have right now but i had a habit to argue with uh, all the time with other people so uh, i st- i started studying uh, mass communication and uh, when i passed out from the university i you know joined a, a very renowned uh, marketing agency uh, and then a news channel a newspaper so a lot of things i have done at that time then um, in 2012 actually, actually i want to uh, sorry i want to stop and uh, so i want to uh, drill a little bit about your media industry experience actually that was a very amazing journey and i think if i i if, if i skip that part of my life uh, then maybe i maybe uh, this uh, uh, listing pro uh, is uh, relates to that experience actually uh, what i believe actually uh, initially i joined a news channel and uh, as 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 a creative team uh, uh, member 
and then I moved to a, a marketing agency where we planned, uh, you know, a TV commercial or the media boards, billboards, and hoardings. Uh, we planned for the clients, and where I where I learned uh, one interesting thing is that uh, how to communicate with end user, and I think that was the crucial part uh, of learning. Because if you know how to communicate with the end user, you can you can reach to the uh, to the end user very uh, very effective way. So that thing I learned from there, and uh, and and later on I started my own business in in the marketing, and I I, I founded a, a magazine, a fashion magazine, uh, with the uh, with commercial ads and. Uh, and all that. So, so initially, in the in the first first magazine, uh, the first issue, we had almost twelve to thirteen corporate ads, and uh, a very big renowned names uh, were there in the magazine. So, so it it was a kickstart actually. It was a kickstart. Later on, uh, we we started buying media time, uh, or TV time, or FM radio time. So for for our clients, of course. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, after two years, uh, after doing all this business, uh, after two years, uh, I had some serious issues of you know, family issues and other issues. So I, I, I quit everything, and uh, I, I was, I was starting, uh, I was started, uh, starting to create a new, uh, you know, career for me. And uh, then, then I <laughs> interesting part is, I I I traveled to China, and uh, I bought some cosmetic products from there, and <laughs> then uh, in bulk. And then I came back to the Pakistan, and um, you know I, I filled them, I filled those products into the uh, in with my label, and uh, started selling in the market. Uh, but but of course I was not meant to do that. Uh, I think then uh, there is there is a, my friend, and uh, he owned a software house. Okay. So he yes he he actually started. So till now till now you are not uh, doing anything in your uh, in web uh, development or design uh, until now or where uh, you had no exposure. Till now I have I have no exposure of web development web designing. I even don't know what is the meaning of uh, web development. And this was how many years uh, ago? Around 2011. And 2011, okay. Around 2011. Okay, yes, yes. okay, 10 years ago, about uh, uh, 10 years, nine, 10 years ago. Okay, so, all right. Uh, and and uh, uh, my friend owned a software house and he started a website, job website, a job portal. So see, he contacted me. Uh, he contacted me to manage his website. Uh, business, uh, business side. So, uh, so I joined him because okay. uh, I was very. I just want to pick a little bit, sort of. So during this time, I think in one of uh, our conversation, you did mention you were sort of uh, grounded by your father at uh, your yes, farm or something. Of course, I. Because you did some yeah. some uh, stuff. <laughs> I guess I maybe we don't yeah. want to get into that. But you no, got in trouble. No, no. Basically, Actually, you got in trouble uh, for some. You know. Uh, I mean, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. I remember it wasn't your fault. You got in trouble and your father grounded you for, is that how it went? Yeah, for, for almost, for almost, uh, for almost an year, uh, uh, an year. And what so were my you father doing? Grounded, uh, actually, uh, farming. Uh, okay. I used to do farming, yeah, early, early rise and uh, early, early on bed. So that was my life. Uh, I used to wake up uh, uh, early in the, uh, five o'clock, and uh, when, uh, I I used to go uh, farms and uh, then start doing, um, you know, uh, driving tractor and uh, you know tube uh, working on turbines and you know all the sanitation and everything. So you're a true I country guy. You're a true office. country guy. I yeah, I I <laughs> became I became a true country guy actually. Oh, okay. So I used to I used to handle the buffaloes and cows and goats and everything. Wow. So I used to handle them. So, so, so I, I became a true country guy. But, but you know, uh, that part uh, gave me a lot. 
you know uh, that, that part gave me a raw wisdom so that that i learned from the you know older uh, uh, old age you know or my uncles and my other grandfather i mean in general so dealing I, with I, animals itself gives you i think a lot of patience dealing and, deal, uh, deal, dealing with animals uh, gives you a lot of patience and it gives empathy. you it, it gives you uh, it gives you more than uh, you know the human can give you uh, yeah. that's that's for sure of course <laughs> you 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 become more patient guy and you uh, you know how to handle a person who even uh, doesn't show all all his cards so you know animal doesn't show all cards you, you don't know what they, what, what they going to do in the next minute so so you you should be careful every on a, on every step uh, so that was a, that was a part and then in that period uh, my software house friend uh, called me in, in in that period and my father gave me permission to join him because it was a indoor job and uh, uh, i i don't i don't need to go outside and all that so my my father gave me permission to join him okay when i joined him he told me he explained me like he is uh, he is starting a new job portal and there are two types of i even didn't know anything uh, so he, he he told me there are two types of customers the job seeker and the job uh and and the companies uh, who who will post the job on the portal so he told me uh, there are two type of customers so uh, he told me like how how we can reach to the job seekers how we can reach to the companies and uh, how can we earn so i actually uh, planned everything for that portal i planned how we will reach to the seekers how we will how we will reach to the companies and how we will get earn uh from that portal so i planned everything when the job uh, when the job portal was completed we launched it and uh, in in first year in first year uh, we had 3.5 lakh job seekers on the portal and uh, we had almost uh, 30 corporate uh, corporate uh, clients and uh, those were paying to the job portal and uh, i think that was pretty good uh, numbers uh, in that manner so after one year in that in that part they had a a, a small uh, coaching center to teach uh, young guys uh, about html and css so in that part he my friend told me like uh, you will manage this Uh, this class timing and then you you will enroll all uh, students into into the class so he he told me that so i used to uh, take calls from the students and i used to give them the timing and you know uh, enroll them collect the fees and that was my job so when the when the first class was, uh, started i also joined that class just as a random guy then i then i sat there for two or three days i i i thought i, I was th- i was thinking like this is very good you know html is very you know i thought this is a this is the this is everything html is everything i thought i started thinking like this html creates everything you know everything i i am using mobile phone uh, html uh, mobile phone is uh, using html and uh, if i am using facebook or any other website html is using there is being used there so so this is your first so time getting exposed again. to html and yeah, this, is, this is my first time this is this is my first time so i i i, I okay. still remember i still remember i used to i used to say this i still remember my first day there was a guy who had uh, almost two or three years experience of html at that time so there was a guy i asked him what is dev so he told me uh, he answered me actually uh, this is dev so i said i know this is dev i can read it but what does it do uh, he said he said this is dev and uh, and he has dev is dev. dev is dev or yeah, something yeah this is dev dev is dev nothing <laughs> i i was very shocked to uh, shocked by that uh, answer so so i i started learning from there html and css so uh, th- uh, that was a 30 days course and uh, when the course was completed uh, uh, you know our instructor said uh, go and create something you know create a page of uh, with html and css and show me uh, 
So I I did the same uh, like others. I created a web page, uh, a, a HTML page uh, with CSS. So I showed him, and he was shocked to see. So he never expected like I can do this because all other students uh, was graduated in computer sciences. In and they have you learned... you graduated in uh, mass communication. So mass com school, yeah, mass communication. school also there was nothing uh, related to technology. There was no or background, yeah. and you know. Yeah, I I even have had I still uh, know I have a lot of friends, but at that time I did not have any friend who is doing uh, who is doing uh, programming and uh, web development. Uh, so I I didn't have any friend. So uh, when I created that page, so he was shocked. He say he 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 uh, he he talked to the owner uh, that was also my friend. He talked to him. Like Imran is a very good HTML developer, and we can use him uh, professionally in our as an instructor or as a projects. Yeah. projects, okay. Yeah, in in the projects. Okay. So uh, and my friend, and he was my friend, and he said like uh, he was not that kind of friend. My, he was not my uh, my he was personal friend. Like acquaintance, you knew him yeah. in a circle, okay? Yeah, I knew him. So he he replied that uh, no 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 how can he do this like he he's not believe it. in computer science he yeah, yeah he didn't accept it yeah he didn't he didn't accept that <laughs> oh my god so I was shocked then I then I discussed uh, all this uh, you know scenario with one of my friend and uh, he's still uh, with me and he's Nasir uh, okay. Nasir was there actually at that time. Uh, Nasir was Nasir uh, was a leading designer of that company and so the, uh, discussed... uh, the designer of Listing Pro. So let's just uh, yeah, he's the designer of Listing Pro. Everybody knows. So I actually discussed with uh, Nasir, and uh, Nasir gave me a best advice. Uh, I always praise him. Like he made my career actually. Okay. He's the guy. He he gave me advice like leave leave from here and go and find a proper development job. And maybe you need more learning. So go and find good books uh, about PHP, HTML, CSS, and learn from the books. I went to the market, so I didn't know like which which book I sh uh, which book I should buy, or I, I even have no idea. So I bought uh, like PhD uh, <laughs> level books, and uh, you know I bought a lot of books. Okay. So I I I I came back to my home and uh, uh, at that time there was there was other guy uh, who met me in the event in any event and he knew me as a developer. So he called me. Uh, all of a sudden he called me like he said if there is any developer free so we can hire him. I said I am free. So uh, he replied uh, okay come. Uh, uh, so he already uh, know that uh, he already knew you are a developer or you you yeah you he knew developer. me as a developer because we met in uh, in a random event and uh, i introduced myself as a developer because i was very overwhelmed at that time like i am i have learned html css so oh, i was very overwhelmed you're ready to make uh, make a dent in the universe right like yeah <laughs> <laughs> of course so uh, actually uh, i I, I went to their office uh, very next day and uh, met met them and uh, there was just one guy uh, who was working on WordPress and uh, like like with um, I, at that time I remember he was working with Amazon API uh, to integrate into the WordPress so he was working. So there you, was didn't, only you one. didn't know about WordPress until now. I I I knew I knew about WordPress. Okay. But I didn't know how to you know uh, work on uh, okay. WordPress like. Uh, in, in the programming side, of course. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I knew how to use WordPress CMS, so I knew. Okay. That. Uh, so, so there was only one one developer. They had they had only one developer, two SEO personals, and uh, one designer. I think so. So there were four persons team, okay. and uh, I joined them. I finally joined them, and I was very happy. First day, they gave me a task. I honestly did not know about anything about that task so okay. i came back to home and uh, i started uh, uh, searching it on google so how can i do that uh, finally i found a solution i again uh, went to the office next day and i gave them a solution they was they were very happy the lucky part is uh, the both owner 
were not technical at that time. So they they did not know anything about programming, HTML, CSS. They know they did not know uh, anything about. It. So oh. I gave them a solution, and they were very happy. So you know, finally the time goes on. So I I started learning uh, PHP, WordPress, and uh, with with those help of those books I bought, and uh, and you you believe me? I I even started learning uh, C. C plus plus and at that time, so then then somebody uh, somebody told me like you don't need to learn about C plus plus and all that. You just uh, keep focusing on PHP, HTML, CSS, jQuery, JS, and uh, all these kind of uh, things. So I started learning. After two or three months, uh, I was the only developer in that uh, small company, and the the other guy left them. And I was the only developer, and then there was nobody to judge me actually. So whatever I was doing, they were feeling very good. So whatever they were, there were a lot of mistakes I I made, but 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 they were happy. They were happy with me. So. But you were and, delivering. You were getting making money. Yeah, for them. I More was. Importantly, you were yeah, making money for them. All right, uh, or else they were. I was doing, delivering. Uh, yeah. Now I here 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 I want to mention one guy. I think I think. Uh, uh, it is necessary to mention him. Uh, one of my friend from previous software house where I started learning this HTML and CSS. There was one guy from there. Uh, his name is Majid, uh, Majid Ali, and uh, he helped me a lot. Actually, he is a true mentor. So if he will uh, watch this uh, video, uh, definitely he will be happy because he is a true mentor. And right now he is working in a very good company and he uh, as a project manager so majid uh, actually uh, whenever i got stuck in, in in any task i used to call to majid and i said uh, uh, brother i need your help so he was always there he was always there for me he he I mean, came free, to my like home. no 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 money yeah of course yeah. of course of course he was <laughs> yeah. helping me actually yeah. so he he uh, i i remember there was a, there was a winter night and uh, the temperature was minus one, I think so. And he came back, he came to my house uh, at night and uh, he stayed there and uh, he teach me how to handle a uh, PayPal API in WordPress. And I, I remember this. So he teach me how to handle it because uh, uh, in, in, back in 2011 or 12, there was an API, uh, PayPal API with the IPN number and something. So that was a pretty old method. But right now it's express chat on other methods. So he he actually uh, taught me uh, with uh, PayPal API. So uh, I I always praise him uh, in uh, everywhere. So so in that scenario, uh, after two three months, I learned a lot actually. I learned uh, a lot. Uh, that company uh, got a client uh, online uh, uh, website from online website uh, and. Uh, that client gave them a, a very big size projects like one i would mention here uh, the one project was uh, uh, video to gif uh, conversion video to so it. it was a wordpress plugin okay uh, you know uh, anybody can upload video and it okay. will make it uh, as a, a gif so you already uh doing wordpress projects till now i mean you already started yeah i was i was, i i had started doing wordpress projects uh, but uh in in my in my projects uh, i used to uh you know work on php a lot i didn't know anything about wordpress hooks and all that stuff so i was more relying on php actually so okay. php and js so uh, in WordPress, I did uh, Magento projects. I did Drupal projects at that time. Sure. WordPress, sure. Was, anything, anything they gave me, I searched a lot because I knew how to search on Google. I think this is a very tricky part. Most of people don't know how to search actually. Which website will give you the best uh, result? Which web, okay. which website will give you the best answer? So, so actually, uh, googling itself is a skill. You mean? Uh, googling itself a skill. Okay. I know many people. They don't know how to Google. So okay. Googling is a skill. 
All right. So by now you are doing some hardcore projects, some advanced project vi videos, yes. GIF uh, and all that great stuff. And then within uh, six months, within, within six months, within six months, that's very good. That's very good. Um, so now I guess a little fast forward. Let's, uh, cause, uh, I mean, uh, we, we have about 30 minutes. So I want to fast forward a little, we have a lot of to cover. Uh, you, I think, leave this company and then... No, 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 okay. the, the point is, no, no, no. Oh, okay, sorry. I actually, yeah, I actually advised them uh, because okay. because I always, uh, I always wanted to do products, uh, right. product-based, uh, you know, uh, working. So I was very keen to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I never mm -hmm. uh, interested to do clients' projects and that. I, although th this is very good business, but uh, that was not related to me, actually. So uh, I advised them, like, uh, if we if we work on Invato, if we work on Theme Forest. So how did you know about Theme Forest? Uh, uh, like... uh, I, I spent uh, one year uh, in a software house uh, uh, by the time, uh, you know, when I was handling job portal. So okay. they they always buy, they always buy uh, something from Theme Forest. So oh, I yeah. knew there is a platform which actually gives you uh, you know uh, whatever you want so okay. so software houses and other clients always go to the theme for us to buy okay so why not why uh, why we cannot upload our project there so i knew that in the, in a new company where i spent six months and i did a lot of big projects so uh, there was only four people me two owners and one uh, you know uh, designer or seo i don't know so we were on we were four people so i advised them like we hire a new designer and uh, we will do theme for projects for theme forest so we hired a designer and we we started uh, creating a product for theme forest and that was a, a news website kind of thing so uh, it, it was a html css project by the way so uh, it was not a wordpress theme so we got rejection we got rejected a lot of time like almost 10 20 25 times uh, we were started thinking like theme for us is fake. They they only they only pick few people around them. Those are around them, and, and they are not and blah 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 and all that. We started thinking that, but when I got to know like uh, uh, when I got to know like there was a guy on Theme Forest who is earning more than anybody on Theme Forest, and that guy is from Pakistan. And he is uh, Haris Zulifkar, and everybody knows him. Uh, and he's he he was he's a uh, founder of uh, Awada WordPress theme, and everybody knows Awada actually. So when I when I watched Haris video on uh, Theme Forest forum, and uh, I was shocked. Like he's from Pakistan, so why can't why why we cannot uh, do something like that? So mm -hmm. then, you know, you know, the, the, the courage was boosted up and, uh, you know, we were very, much very motivated. Up. Okay. So you, you see the light at the tunnel. So you see somebody else in your country yeah. who's, who, who has done it, who has made it pretty much, you know, yeah, course, so that, that, that's, I guess the, that was the moment. Yeah. I want to um, mention here, yeah, I want sure. to mention here. Haris is very good friend of mine right now. No, and, yeah. Uh, we used to talk. Yeah, like like th thirty minutes before this uh, interview, uh, we were talking uh, about a topic. So yeah, you guys were on the same right? platform uh, last month, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, at, at yeah, of course. Yeah, you you were on a web web uh, webinar. So but that, at that time, yeah. but at yeah. that time, sorry to sorry yeah, to sure, no, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. But but at that time, I I wrote uh, Haris uh, on Twitter. I tweeted him and uh, I asked him how to, get, you know, get approved our projects on Team Force. And he mentioned and, and he replied. He replied. Very, he replied. That's very. Uh, yeah, he replied. He he's very polite guy. He is a very nice guy. You know, very generous and nice guy. Wow. So he yeah. he replied and he said uh, all the general standards and uh, standard uh, you need we need to follow the standards. We need we need a good design and all that. So I I remember this. Uh, so. Uh, Actually, uh, after that, uh, after this, after watching Haris video and all that, uh, we were very much motivated and uh, charged up. We did a new time HTML CSS again with a new, you know, uh, standards and all that. And we got approved. 
HTML version. So our first, pro- yeah, our so first project was approved, at, at, and then we started working on a WordPress theme, and that was a BTU. And I think a lot of people knows BTU. BTU. Uh, BTube uh, did a very good uh, on. Uh, yeah, I B-tube remember was... BTube. I used to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so after BTube, I did two or three projects, uh, WordPress themes uh, uh, with that team, and then finally I told them like, no, this is the time to start my own, uh, you know, career, my own business uh, on Theme Forest, and uh, I goodbye them. 